Ciwe. Hmm? Ure tun mamela ngo. Indo? Um, alko lula kumlendo. Kotwa, kotwa nti tindu. Kotwa nti funu pukailele. Di, di HIV positive. Sub-Saharan Africa continues to be the epicenter for the spread of HIV. In South Africa alone, five and a half million people now live with the disease, more than in any other country in the world. Into this context, the South African Broadcasting Corporation, in partnership with Johns Hopkins University Center for Communications Programs, commissioned an educational youth drama with an HIV focus. The result was Chacha, produced by Curious Pictures and their research partners, Cadre. It was a story about four characters growing up and dealing with the pitfalls of trying to find love, set in a ballroom dancing club as a metaphoric background. Walk right, left, right, left, okay. The aim of doing this series was actually to educate our people about this pandemic, which is HIV and AIDS. We are saying to our people, they must make the right choices in life and take responsibility. Chacha set out to develop among South African youth an awareness of the need to equip themselves with the tools and insight they require to deal with the formidable challenges of living in a world with HIV. Importantly though, these issues were treated with humor and humanity and an appreciation of the realities of complex characters living in a shared world. The challenge with, with HIV AIDS education is often it's not about delivering discreet pieces of media. It's about shifting a general populace in a behavioral way towards certain kinds of behavior. And the education entertainment format, the drama format that packages strong characters that the broad audience can identify with is a very, very effective medium for that. Two things set Chao Chao apart right from the start. Firstly, unlike most South African drama up to that point, it was set in a rural area the fictional small town of Lubusi in the impoverished Eastern Cape area. And secondly, its characters were meticulously researched and carefully crafted to engender the greatest possible identification with the audience. Grand and AIDS viewer can you negative man? I want AIDS viewer, HIV positive. In the course of 78 episodes, broadcast over three and a half years, Chacha worked itself into the fabric of South African society. Sorry, DJ. I'm going to go to this fucking land. DJ, I'm going to go to the fucking land. I'm going to go to the fucking land. Bye bye. What we got right was a really fabulous set of actors playing a really well developed and complex set of characters. The core characters at the heart of Chacha very quickly became national icons and had a mass following of youth behind them. We particularly wanted our characters to move from bad to good spaces and possibly to bad spaces again. Uh, and people identified with this because it was much more realistic. No one is perfectly good or perfectly bad. A measure of the popularity of Chacha is that it easily transcended its target audience of young adults and became appointment viewing for a wide age group. The series also garnered numerous awards both locally and abroad. The thing we're most proud of is the fact that Chacha has won you know, numerous awards both in the drama field and in the educational field, um, which kind of, I think, it's testimony to the fact that we got the combination uh, absolutely right. Oh. <laughs> Chacha reached 14 million viewers, half of all South Africans over the age of 15. The series had an audience share of close to 50% of the population and 61% of youth aged 15 to 24. With a production budget of 14 million rand for the first 52 episodes, that amounts to one rand or about 14 cents per person reached. 
The costs for the production were shared, with the SABC contributing $1.10 for every dollar given by the United States. This investment has led to a significant behavior change. We've had a, a lot of research done before and after Chacha has been on air. And yes, we see that there has been a dramatic change of behavior. An extensive parallel testing process, both during and after broadcast of the series, showed that Chacha had statistically significant impact on several important behaviors related to HIV. These include HIV testing, awareness of antiretrovirals, and an increased positive attitude towards people living with HIV. More importantly, almost 725,000 additional condom users could be attributed to watching Chacha. This translates to a cost of $3.16 per new user. The series was effective because it is seen by the audience as realistic and inspirational. As a result, Chacha has been instrumental in increasing knowledge and awareness about HIV and AIDS. We've seen changes in terms of uh, some things that are quite subtle. For example, people living with HIV talking about how they were inspired by the courage portrayed by Viwe, the character who moves from being not knowing she's HIV positive to publicly being HIV positive. Really? Well, if I would have it my way, I would have Chacha forever, for as long as we have this pandemic. <laughs> A little boy from an uptown world Think you're tough with your golden shoes uh, Down here ain't none of those things that you believe in First things first, you gotta learn to dance Fiddle